Have you ever heard what is the worst building in the world? Often. Whoever isn't bad and good family relatives? Yes. This is an architect who is ashamed of his work. Tengu Kuma is one of architects who admires over his work. One of his M2 building. M2 building was designed as Matsuda's car sales room. It now operates as a funeral hall which is located in Tokyo, Japan. I feel embarrassed by some of my buildings. M2 building is like a montage where it comes from various different elements such as ionic column, arches, they are united on the basis of the function of the building. The design is a mix of small blocks, corbels, triglyphs, and arches, all at different scale. Although it appears to be made of masonry, the structure is actually reinforced concrete. Dominating this eclectic assembly is a large column with a short, simplified shape. Ionic column is slimmer and more ornate than the early Doric style. The Ionic column is one of the Greek order. The voluminous or skull-shaped ornament on the Ionic capital above the axis is the defining characteristic of the building. Arch as a curved structure for spanning an opening form from the arrangement of rocks flanking each other. The use of our structures in buildings has existed since prehistoric times, such as ancient Egypt, Babylonia, and Greece, but its application was only to support small structures, such as in a warehouse and on roof supporting columns. So it cannot be used to build larger buildings. Then the Romans succeeded in developing this art structure so that it could be applied to large buildings. The portico is the front porch of the Roman Rotunda building which has a trigonal prisma roof that is supported by columns while the M2 building only used the roof. Why did King Gokuma build like this? He means the characteristic of traditional European buildings, not Japanese. The M2 building itself is very cultural with Greek or Roman culture. This can be seen from the geometric representation of the building, not culture with Japanese culture. The architect wants to use stone material as a solid material value base on historically widely used European architecture. I want to find a balance expressing form and material. The form of the building should be as subtle as possible, because then the material's character can reveal itself. Yes, but why did he make a form like that, even in different contexts? It's shown by the background academy of architect. The architect has learned in America and has learned much more about Yunani and Roma history, which is really the effect of his first design of M2 building. M2 building were more experimental in style and form, the most radical example being postmodern, which reads as a mismatch of different architecture styles. Curtain walls and highway dividers depraising functionalism and modernism, and classic motifs of postmodernism. Incorporating this free floating collage, it's meant to express the emergence of a new post-industrial relationship between the workplace and home. For history reference pro, regarding stone materials, they are considered to have durability or longer life in buildings. So this is why I can go Kuma using Yunani and Roma historical for his reference. This greatly expresses how the architect's curiosity about how to make M2 building because this is a combination of classical and modern science. The classical expression is shown mainly in the ornaments, geometry, and the volume of the building, while the modern is shown more clearly in the materials that use glass and iron as the structure. And the M2 building can be categorized into Chironic Classicism because the building itself is more classically Greek and Roman than modern. As someone who is learned in the University of Tokyo in 1979, then become as a researcher at Columbia University until 1986, Kengo Kuma works very tend toward the postmodernism, such as M2 building. However, his approach shifts when he starts working with smaller skilled craftsmen, who become more important during the economic downturn. This change helped refresh his style, leading him to focus more on using small, repeated elements. This shift also made him interest in rethinking natural materials, often focus on rhythm and like, but using natural materials in the usual way limited his options. So, Kuma began experimenting with the materials like stone, treating them as if they were like their materials, like wood or glass, 